Oh, my retinas. The burn. <laughs> All right. Let's see. <laughs> Just. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nick. <laughs> I might need some optometrist action after that loading screen. But, anyways, we're once again back playing some Red Dead Redemption 2. We are in chapter. I think this is chapter 4 now. This is Saint Denis. Uh, this is the quote-unquote new city that we've hit, but it's not really new because I've been actually, I've been here a while now, so please train, do not get, s please horse, do not get smoked by a train. Actually, I'm going to call you just to make sure that you do not. Ah, excuse me, bud. Buds. What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. No strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. There's plenty of real booze here. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> Hundreds of gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, <laughs> friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for a good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Boy. Okay. Well, we're not there yet. Oh no. We'll hit that when we get back to Rhodes again. Let's talk to this other guy. Oh. Oh, poor doggy! Just freaking clipped him. Oh wow. That was worth investigation? Jesus Christ. How long is this investigation gonna take? I also... Last time... I shaved my beard and I got a haircut. Apparently that did not save. When I closed the game, so... Okay, Finn. I guess we have no. Oh, yeah, there he goes. As soon as I freaking leave, pops back up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, happens. It always happens at the beginning of a video, I find. Anyways, let's go inside. Should just put a helmet off Phobos from now on. Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm. I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. Oh, how very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies. Um, how do you say? All ass. Mm. Asshole. Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. 
You a painter? No, I'm a holas. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No, according to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles. You know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art. It's for idiots. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Wasn't even a mission. That was weird. Stop ringing the bell at me. Okay, Duchy. We gotta go rescue Jack Marston. Gonna go redo my haircut first, though. Hey, slow down. Oh God, I nearly clipped that woman. Running over women, bad idea. So, what do you need? Now that isn't half bad, huh? Mighty fine if I do say so. Well, I guess we're all done here. I can't even. No, I'm, I'm not one. I'm not long for facial hair. Maybe because I can't grow it in real life at all. <laughs> Big old baby face. Smoked by a trolley car, too. This town sure is quaint, though. Use your there you are, Dutch. Ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just that he's some slick little greasy-haired European. Clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, he's gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm him. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Just walk right into the lion's den. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss.
Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business! We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> That's the best woman. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on the mild. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute. Why do I get fancy clothes like that? Okay, boy. Oh, I got Arthur's hat. Oh, of course I have Arthur's hat. What is the one that I wanted? Not that one. Every time. I always forget what. I think it was supposed to be like. It was once like called like a stalker's hat. I don't know. Come on then. Bulldogger's hat. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know. You did good, holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I think Thwaites, we're going One second, let me just top myself off here. Heel. Heel. 
will be fine. For all the money we cost, we must have sent him here so we couldn't get. This stuff just looks like it's building. Man, I have so many of these. Those like permanent stuff. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay, I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Fancy like. This way. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. Spooky. What's with Red Dead and, and the grave robbers, man? There's always a grave robber. Be quiet. We don't want to spook him. They got a burpee. This way. Sounds come from over here. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. My friend died. It's all good. Hello. Here you go. And we'll bust the door in. You boys found my pappy's watching. Damn it. How many you see? Three? Four? The cartel. You should have paid Mr. Bronte. Careful, they're leading us out in the open. That's Can't see nice. with the dam. We sure picked the right night for it. Dude, how many bullets are you gonna take? Oh shit! Don't get up. Where are you at right now? All right. Now let's find their stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. That gunshot's probably attracted a ton of. People. Like I said, let's look around where they jump. Don't get your panties in or not. I'm trying to find stuff.
We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. Use eagle vision to find it. I think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Uh oh. Shit. It's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get up. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Sneak out. Where are you going? Come on. Escape. Somebody kill that bastard already. So not stealth. Escape the law. Oh, John, don't die. John, you can't die. Don't you quit on me. John died. Damn it. <laughs> okay. I'll try to escape a little bit more stealth this time. Shit! It's the law! Let's go! Maybe we can get out that gate! Yep. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it! This motherfucker. Okay, he's not even moving. We can't even go that way. Okay, you lead. I'll follow. Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here. So I have to follow John. Come on, stay together. Dude, make up your mind which way you're gonna go. Killing me. Not bad, Marston. You are much better at that stuff. <laughs> Man, it's so dark. How do you see anything at night? The British are coming. The British are coming. Well, right. let's get this done. Just lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? 
He best not be playing games with us. Come on, Arthur. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Ready? Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Let's go! We have a new camp set up again. <sighs> You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Okay. Dutch. Talk to me. Why is it so silent? Everyone's so quiet. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Don't thank your husband. I got my son back! <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <sighs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys! We got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I'm... I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Dang. He's back, all right. <laughs> hey, make some 
good for John there. I can, I can have a drink. Usually, it has this symbol that means that I have to go to bed and the next morning wake up. But I'll have a quick nightcap. Being a little antisocial, but I'm kind of antisocial and socially awkward IRL, anyways. One's good. Oh, is my room inside the house? Ha dang. Moving up in the world. Oh yeah, I was gonna talk to this lady. You're not joining in? Not really in the mood. Okay. You ain't joining the party, Reverend? I don't want to ruin it. I'm feeling sorry for yourself. Wait, let me see. Yeah, it's inside the house. Why is there a music note beside my bed? Got my own room, what's up? Sleep with ammo on my bed. Take it. Oh, we got a letter. How do I access this letter? Oh, here it is. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life, time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I am not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in Saint Denis. Oh, Arthur, I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so, yours. Mary. She done yet? I definitely want to go pee when that letter was. <laughs> when I was reading that letter. All the ammo I got. 